Hello everyone and welcome to how to create a makeshift airport using the Kerbal Constructs mod in Kerbal Space Program. This is Kerbal Space Program version 1.2.2. We are taking off from a runway that was created by Kerbal Constructs. This is the real KSC mod that adds the shuttle landing facility and that's where I'm taking off from from Cape Canaveral in Florida and we're headed up to New York where I intend to establish some runways to represent John F. Kennedy International Airport and so that we can fly out of New York and we can start our craft from these runways so that's a big help because then we can start anywhere around the world and of course you can create launch pads and stuff like that and you won't need something like KSC Switcher necessarily and it's better that way because then it's more dynamic you can uh, make use of the facilities without going to the tracking station to switch the location of the facilities. But here we are approaching New York and we encounter our first problem. The resolution of the real solar system map isn't very high. And so we don't really have a very distinct Manhattan, uh, Long Island. It's all sort of mushed together. Uh, Staten Island is not apparently there at all. Uh, so I have to sort of estimate the location of John F. Kennedy Airport by the coordinates and so I looked up the latitude and longitude and I saw a sort of airport texture on the ground already and that's just uh, placed there by the real solar system textures and I decided that that would be a good enough location close enough to the real coordinates to uh, place our runways. Now we don't want to use the actual terrain because it's all bumpy and even though there is a runway texture there it's indistinct and so we want something nice and level. So you bring up the Kerbal Constructs menu by pressing Control K. So Control K is the key, are the keys that you want. And you want to click Spawn New. All instances contains all the stuff that's already in the Kerbal Constructs system. And you want to spawn a new runway. So I click the word runway in white. That's the particular static. It's called a static in Kerbal Constructs. And that creates a runway at the location your craft is at. So that's why I have to fly all the way over here because it will spawn the static at the location of the craft where you've landed. So you actually have to travel to the locations and that's one reason why I created my hypersonic airliner because then I can get to these locations accurately but quickly. Um, a pod is possible of course but it takes some doing to land it at the proper location. Uh, this we could even taxi to the correct location but you see I'm making sure that the pitch is right because it was sort of half buried into the ground uh, we need to rescale it it needs to be larger so I scale it to 4 there and now I'm going to move it to the correct location important do not enable colliders until it is clear from the craft that you landed otherwise your craft will explode because then the runway will have colliders and uh, the colliders of the runway will get in the way of the colliders of your craft now you can see there I had to change the increment at the top. You see the 0 .001, 0 .01, 0 .1, 0 .1, and 100. That changes um, how fast thing or uh, how accurately things move. And so I'm moving it to the right and moving it forward and such like that, moving it down, trying to make sure it fits the terrain. Uh, it does have a um, match terrain button, but I haven't really found that a snap to terrain, sorry. Uh, that doesn't work all that great, uh, especially if you scaled the model up. If you haven't scaled the model up, it probably works a little bit better. So I tried to make sure that the pitch is such that nothing is, of course, actually buried underground, and yet it's low enough so that maybe at one point uh, we can actually taxi off of the runway onto the ground. And here we are uh, just creating the launch site and so I've named it John F. Kennedy International. You could put the runway name so I could have said JFK I think it's for right and um, there I've just identified myself as the author and I just put a hundred by a hundred for the height and width it doesn't really matter it's just the size of the spawn spawn location um, you don't have to like give it the, the dimensions of the whole runway I don't think and uh, yeah, uh, you do want to make sure that the effective range is 100,000. That's the range at which you will be able to see the runway. So 100,000 is 100 kilometers. So you want to be able to see it from 100 kilometers away. Uh, here I use the duplicate button. That's handy. You can easily duplicate the runway, but it'll start off with a scale of 1. So you have to rescale it up again. Here I'm trying to intersect runways because JFK has intersecting runways. 
and that's a bit of a messy business with the unlevel terrain uh, because parts of the runways tend to float above ground when you do that so I have to try some compromises uh, I spawn a control tower now duplicate is great because duplicate it'll spawn the new one at the location of the old one so you don't have to move it from where you landed but if you spawn a new instance of something then it'll spawn at the location of your craft and so you have to move it all the way over so that's what I'm doing with the control tower I noticed that my JFK is really really big compared to the city of New York uh, so I decided to scale the whole thing down a bit uh, so you can zoom out quite a ways uh, with Kerbal Constructs but uh, yeah I had to rescale everything down slightly and because this part of the runway was hovering over the ground I decided to use one of these there's a horrible attempt at a solution one of these runway ramps but uh, it's just a haphazard thing for now I'll try and make it better later but there's a problem with not having flat terrain I don't know how to flatten the terrain yet and that's more of a problem for runways than if you're just trying to make some buildings like a hangar or something or if you're okay with shorter runways uh, if you can make the runway shorter and that'll be good enough then you're probably alright so we saved everything we clicked save do make sure you've created a launch site and also enable colliders now if you try and go directly to it without restarting the game this is what you'll get so it has the collider there obviously because we're hovering above ground you can tell there is a runway there but it's not showing the model and that's because we need to restart if we bring up the Kerbal Constructs menu, menu we should see that uh, it will have it under the local instances you can see the JFK 4 runways the runway ramp and the control tower are all under the local instance and so we restart and then we see the runway now due to the unlevel ground you can see the runway uh, 4 left is quite high above us over to the left there and so here we go we'll take a look at the situation it's not great but it, obviously we now have a runway at New York which is pretty good that's a handy thing to have if you want to just like test the plane on a transcontinental journey from Vandenberg actually on this flight I went all the way over to California and established Edwards Air Force Base so that's nice uh, there is that <laughs> so from this vantage point we can see that runway is really high above the ground you can see the ramp that I made to try and bring it down but obviously that's not a good solution uh, there's no way uh, airplane would survive going down or up that ramp so yeah we're going to have to work on that uh, if there's a solution to how to level to the terrain that'd be great I don't know it right now I'll try and look for it but what we really need is this area right here to be perfectly level and then we can place stuff a little bit better but yeah so I created this video in the hope that people will create airports all over the place and maybe uh, some new statics so the statics I used here the runways come with Kerbal Constructs but there are other statics people have made for the stock game you know there are little stock bases that have been made in Kerbal Constructs um, so like cities and stuff like that uh, obviously they wouldn't work in real solar system which is what I've got here but we could use the statics from those mods to create little locations here in real solar system so I'm just thinking about these things and hoping we can turn it into more of a flight simulator so here I am going off to California to the location of Edwards Air Force Base to build some runways there and on that note thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please do press like and I'll see you next time